living in Nigeria is a very, 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 very big spot. For you to live and survive in Nigeria, it means you're a strong person. Very, very strong person. So I'll give you. hi welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome to my youtube channel as we all know my name is Eric Lewa. and on today's video i am not doing your regular type of video today's video i'm not doing food video today mm -mm. i'm doing something different entirely different i'm talking about how to stress yourself in nigeria because this stress thing in nigeria is very 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 tough it is affecting a lot of people so uh, as we all know nigeria is a spot living in nigeria is a very 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 big spot for you to live and survive in nigeria it means you're a strong person very very strong person so i'll give you life hack on how to survive in nigeria that is how to distress because nigeria is very very tough so I'm telling you how to survive, how to distress yourself in Nigeria. Without further ado, let's move right into the video. So, according to Google, stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. It can come from any event or thoughts that make you feel frustrated, angry, or nervous. That's what Google says. But to me, stress is the way your body reacts to an activity that put you out of place do you understand like i don't know if it's proper image but you get the point like when you do something and then your body doesn't really align with it it puts you out of place like the way your body reacts to it to me is stress yeah yes. for example the way your body reacts to hectic school work your daily activities your Non fun because anything that's not fun is stress to me. I'm not gonna cap, I'm not gonna lie. If you're telling me to walk, that's stress, it has to be fun, it has to be party. Partying is not stress, but the people find partying as stress because, well, it's not their kind of thing. But for me, I like to party, I like to chop life, so partying is not stress for me. Thank you very much. Now, what is of stress? Traffic, yes, number one cause of stress in nigeria traffic that's lagos traffic is a major cause of stress like how would you want after you finish managing to carry yourself to go to work then you will not leave your house you will not be one traffic that will last for like 30 for five minutes when normally there's no traffic you that reach there for like 15 minutes but because of traffic like 30 for five minutes that's a lot of stress by the time I get to work, I'll be already too tired to talk to anybody and all. I'll have headache. My body will just be slow. So that's the one cause of stress. Then daily work. Can I not work? Can I just be rich by sitting at home? Is it possible? I'm too lazy for all this. Working is stress to me, you know. The whole having to do something having to work, having to stand up from my comfort zone, that's my bed, it's enough work for me. School work too is work, Exam, exa, especially in like school, school work, where a lecturer will give you some assignments or tell you to read something that you're, you're mentally not prepared for, that's like a lot of stress to me, a whole goddamn lot of stress. I'm told you don't want to be stressed, I'm too fine to be stressed, I'm too... I'm a pre-sex, pre-sex of Africa, so I don't have to be stressed. Then marriage, yes, apparently, so marriage is a stress, I'm so sorry, very, very stressful. When you go to work, you have a nagging, when you go to work and come back and your nagging wife is complaining, always complaining, 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 like that's too much stress, I already have too much wahala going on in my life, then you're complaining, it's stressful, it's doing my body, you know then like when you're not happy in a marriage you have to like for example that your husband is cheating on you i, mean, I can't shout this one because it's, it's too 
people are embarrassing to shout. The husband is cheating on you. And you have to come back home if you see because he's cheating. We have to start talking. Like, can you not give me a headache? Can you not stress me? Can you behave yourself? Act like you're supposed to act so I don't stress myself. I don't have to talk to you or call you out for cheating. It doesn't make any sense now. You don't have to cheat. And as a wife, you don't have to nag. You can't you don't, you don't have to complain about every single thing. If it's something you can do, do it. Don't complain. You get who do mm -mm. it's not needed at all. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't stress me. Yeah. I already mentioned school now. You know, you know, this is a job also stress. You get the effect of stress on your body. There are like different effects of stress. It depends on the person. I mean, when I'm stressed, I fall sick. And so it affects my ment my health. Yeah, for when I fall sick, like I used to be sick. And dark. Oh, some people, when they are stressed, their body used to be. This is slim down, so please add weight. You get like different effects of stress. But I'm not talking about what is stress, effects of stress, cause of stress. No. My major topic in this video is my major topic in this video is how to distress life hack to distress. How to not stress yourself, how to run away from stress. As per Nigeria now, uh, everything is too stressful for us. So I'm teaching you how to, I'm telling you how to distress yourself in Nigeria. So yes, I am back again with the sauce with the when I was I remember that I had willow when I was sitting up and it refused to defrost. So by now I should have defrosted. It's only way we can find out by trying this. But the first step, so now let's go into the video. I wrote down some points here on how to distress yourself. So I will be calling it out one after the other. Staying positive. Akira is calling me. I'll be right back. Yeah, before Akira called me, I was talking about staying positive. So if you survive in Nigeria, generally, you have to stay positive because Nigeria is a sport, like I always say. I have hope for Nigeria. So I was quite this sport because you always end up finishing the sport. Whether you like it or not, you must complete the sport. So I would say Nigeria is a sport. Yeah. So if you survive in Nigeria, you have to stay positive. It's very, very important to stay positive. You have to always be positive like yes i will do it yes i can do it yes i will finish there is good there is good in nigeria always see the positive side of things don't look for negative side because if you're looking for negative side my dear depression will kill you anxiety will kill you the stress self will kill you everything will kill you because nigeria is a spot i'll say it again for the one millionth time you have to be positive to be able to be in nigeria and as a very positive person that I am, as you all know, always looking for the bright side, always looking for a good side of everything, never looking for a bad side. That's how I'll be able to survive because I'm sure, not like I'm blind or I don't see the bad side though. Mm -mm. I usually see it, but I try to be oblivious about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want all things. It helps you in Nigeria, trust me. Yes, it helps in Nigeria. My second point is meditating. So how do I meditate? I don't have to sit down and do all that whole yoga thing, no. What I do is, almost every night, if not every, but not every room, almost every night, before I sleep, I lay down on my bed and I play some subtle, subtle music, like not too gege-ish. I lie down and I think, I try to meditate, I try to like remove negative thoughts and welcome positive thoughts. Another story, my friend is here and she's keeping me company when I'm making my video. Say hi. Hi. Yes, that's my friend Akiri. Now, back to what I was saying. The third way to distress yourself in Nigeria. Very, 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 very important. Exercise. You don't have to go to the gym and exercise. Nope. When I'm excited, I mean like long walk, like when you're walking, taking a long walk, you can like 
when the breeze is blowing your head, you get all those breeze or jogging, all those breeze blowing your head. I don't know, it has a way of like relieving stress in one way or the other. I don't know how to explain it, but if you do it normally when you are stressed, like take strolls randomly, you will know that yes, every time you go on the stroll and come back, you feel like a lot better sightseeing, like you just take a stroll, keep walking, you see, keep seeing things on the road and all. Like you usually feel a lot better. Always works. It always works, like take it from me. Always and always works. You know the vibe, you know the yuppie. Another way to relieve stress in Nigeria is to write it down. Like I do this one normally, I have a journal where I write down what like what where I write down what helps me, like the particular thing that's making me stressed. I just go to my journal and I write it that oh this is what is making me stressed. Then I look for a solution to the stress. Do you understand? Sometimes I don't know for a solution, just writing it down is like pouring out my pain. Do you understand? Sometimes writing it out is like pouring out my pain. So I don't have to look for a solution. Sometimes pouring out the pain alone is enough stress for me. Or sometimes I go to my phone and type it out. But that one doesn't really work all the time because you know, no. I want to write like I think I'm writing my pain. You understand? So that's like a stress reliever for me. Very, 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 very effective. I let me tell you people where. Chewing gum works, but it doesn't work for me because it works so. But why I don't like chewing gum rather is because I have a problem. I don't know how to spit out gum, so I have to swallow gum. So because I don't know how to swallow it, I rather not chew it at all. You understand? But it works when I chew gum. It actually was like chewing my pain and all, and then distracting myself with the chewing gum. It works. Spending time with family and friends. Yeah, when I am stressed, I call my friends like how far. Are you available? Do you want to chill? Do you want to? Can you come to my hostel? Can you come to my house? You get. Let's go out. Let's. You don't even have to go out. Just come. Or I can go and meet them too. The ones that are very close to me because I'm a very late person. If you ask far, sorry, yo. I'm not coming. If you ask the way I can walk to, if I don't have to use a cab or I don't have to use transportation to your house, eh, hey, I'll come. But if I have to use transportation like bike, cab, something. I'm not going anywhere. I'm that lazy. Sorry. But if you can, you can come to my house if you want to. Nobody's stopping you. You can come. Charges to play. You get. Then take a break. Yes, very, very important. If you are stressed, please always try to bring out the period where you take a break. When I mean taking a break, like go on holiday, travel, or you can even stay in your house. Just like lock yourself at home for like a week. Just do things you love in the house. Take a break from the outside world. It is very, very important for your mental health. If you think about it, because if you don't take a break, my dear, you collapse or you run mad. Nigeria is a sport. I've said it for the ten, ten million time now. Nigeria, is, you have to take a break to be survive in Nigeria. You have to take a break. You must take a break. I go on holidays. You can lodge in a hotel if you have enough money for like two days, three days. Just say no. Take like two two days. Can be a week. Can be a day. Just go off the grid, off your phone. Just like relax, watch movies, eat, play, party. Go outside if you want to go outside. Go to the pool. Go to the beach. The pool, the beach. They have like these water vibes. They help relieve stress. For me, I don't know about you, it might not be the same for you, but like, it works for me. And I go, sometimes I just go to the shower, let water um, pour my hair, go my hair braided. Last, last, I'll use hand dryer and dry it. Go, just let water pour my hair. It leaves stress a whole lot, a whole lot. Then, yes, cuddle. Cuddle, cuddles help relieve stress. I have a teddy bear, but it's not here. My teddy bear's in there. Teddy bear's in there. Frida. Frida helps me relieve my stress. Yes, Frida is very, 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 very like I call Frida every night when I am lonely and stressed. And I need to like cuddle. I call Frida every night. Frida is very, very friendly. So call If you have someone you can call with, yes, you can call with a human being. But I call Teddy bear and I call human being. So I have my younger sister, Uma. Shout out to her. When I want to for her trouble, 
Ogha! I have to put Chica to Chica in hostel sometimes. They're like, come on over her. Then she's sleeping. This is good. You have to leave stress. Calling is important to release stress. And listen to certain music. Don't want to Osha Pra Pra, Osha Pro Pro, or if you are stressed, those ones will disturb you. Listen to calm music, the ones that are going through your head, release all the stress. Release, release, release. I have a stress playlist. I'll put the um I'll put the link down in the description box. You can go and listen to it. They are calm music that help you, calm songs help you relieve your stress like Go down, go down. You get, you get the vibe, and then you take a deep breath. Yes, every time you're stressed or you're trying to get stressed, yeah, and doing something, just breathe in and out, and it works actually. At that moment where the stress is trying to build up, like we taking a deep breath works. It works. A whole lot. Another thing I do too, I count one to hundred in my head. One, two, three, four, five, six. I start from one to ten, then one to fifty, then one to hundred, to one to one thousand. I keep counting to like the nearest figures. Yeah. Sorry, one hundred, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, to one thousand like that. One thousand highest has gone. Yeah, that's like I keep counting till I can't feel the stress anymore. Do you understand? Like one to ten. If I still feel stress, I continue counting. From 10 to 50, if I keep the stress from 50 to 100, like that, I keep counting till like I don't feel the stress anymore. But the finance have gone to 1000, after 1000, I can keep the stress. I start crying, no, I'm not going to go more than 1000. I'll start crying there and there, like, bros, Alpha, I'm human, I have to cry. Sometimes you need to cry. Yeah, if crying too will help you relieve your stress, because crying helps you relieve my stress too. But if crying will help you relieve your stress, please cry. There's nothing like you're a man, you can't cry. You're an old man, you can't cry. There is no age restriction to crying, please. Nobody says that. There's no rule that says that if you are 80 or 100, you can't cry. If you're a man, you can't cry. Cry to make you feel better. Crying is important. Cry. So if you are stressed and you want to cry, please cry. Just go to a private place and cry. Don't just, go, don't just cry in public, no. Well, if crying, if you can't hold it and you have to cry in public, please cry in public, I beg you. Don't, don't try to make a big deal out of this please cry in public if you need to i beg you lastly most important the most important point of all of the most important point yes the last and most important point subscribe to my channel this one is the one I'm giving from god once you subscribe to my channel just know how that you are stressed or when you are stressed that you will not feel better because well like every time there's stress you go to my channel, you watch my video, you get the vibe, you feel the vibe. There is no how you be stressed. Like you become, you will see things that will make you happy now. So once you're happy, like you don't feel stressed anymore. You get now. So get here, more get here. So get. Oh God, I'm saying rubbish already. Yeah. Um. So that is all I have for you for how to cope with stress in Nigeria. How to distress yourself actually. But as a Nigerian. I'm 100% sure you would need these points. Please try to avoid stress by all means. Please try to avoid anything that affects your mental health. Your health is important. Your mental health is important. There are a lot of things going on in the world right now that affect our mental health. Mental stress, like too many things are going on right now that affect us as human beings. Please, your mental health is very, 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 very important. If you need to talk to someone, please, I am always there. I will, my Instagram, if you want to guess me, my Instagram um, link is in my bio, is in the description box. I will drop it. I will drop my hand right here, show you my page. Please, I'm, please, I'm, please, I beg you. Text me if you just want to talk to me. I'm always available. From all I have said, if you have more points to distress yourself in Nigeria, please let me know in the comment box. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Please follow my Instagram, follow my Twitter. Let me know what you think, or let me know what you have to say about stress. And give me your stress experience too. I like this. Give me your stress experience in the comments section. I'll be waiting for you there. 
Thank you very much. I love you people. I love you. I love you. Such a special baby, oh. continent, baby, oh. intercontinental baby, oh.